How to create stunning YouTube thumbnails with Meet Journey. Let's look into this. So it's definitely one of the things that I found interesting with Meet Journey. We are able to create amazing scenery and and now with a character reference, we can also create stunning, stunning replications of different characters. For this example, I'm going to be using myself to show what's possible uh, to make with thumbnails in combination of using Mid Journey and Canva. Let's start playing around with this. So one thing is uh, I'm going to be doing is I'm going to upload three images of myself here. This is just simple images that are, that are taken with mobile phone. And uh, we're going to use them as a character reference. You see the images appearing here. And, and he, it's possible to choose for them to be a character reference by pushing this button here. Now, all three images are set as a character reference. I'm going to use a simple prompt. Uh, excited news reporter and this is the context that you can change and experiment with whatever you like and you can also of course adjust uh, different styles different variations of uh, of the scenery that you are looking for maybe you have some uh, style reference as well that's possible to apply as well uh, some other interesting settings here to look for is that we are going for it's not a square for youtube thumbnail we want to have a a 16 by 9 ratio so i'll find it here perfect stylization i the rest of the settings i'll leave as it is um, not to, to simplify the variations here so now we have the simple prompt we have images as a character reference we have the landscape 16 by 9 ratio picked let's see what we get out of this And um, it's always a bit surprising to see what generates. Sometimes the results are good. Other times it can also be uh, questionable. And uh, specifically with character reference, I find it, it can be a bit tricky how well it represents uh, the character. But well, let's, uh, let's see the results. And what, what, what's cool about this, and we can always re redo the prompt and look <laughs> there's definitely something wrong with the hands here and that's been a big problem for image generative um, ai is is to replicate the hands and specifically fingers the amount of fingers how they're shaped there's often 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 you will see some mistakes look also here we have four fingers four fingers here we have a mistake as well um, but well sometimes it gets it right and then it looks just just as it should look at this one this one is actually quite interesting that's that's not bad at all i like this one i'll do another roll just to see um to see what we can get out of it we can press the button here use then it automatically copies the entire prompt plus the images so that's that's a nice copy function that is uh, made into user interface and mid journey let's see what it's going to do but otherwise we perhaps we're just going to go with this image here and uh, well it's possible to keep also thumbnails very simple we could use an image like this here to to show the thumbnail without having any text to it as well um, because it, it's already like the setting that mid journey provides with this special effects scenery background is quite amazing so so just that alone uh, can be quite quite awesome create very beautiful colors attractive colors professional looking uh, graphics wow look at this this is great and look at this face wow all right which one which one i like the most which one do you like the most <laughs> all right this one is definitely cool and i like this one as well you know what i'm gonna go for for this one and uh, what i'm gonna do just to i can down i can click the image here and it's possible to to download like this i will do that as well but i will also do 
a zoomed out version of 2.0 because when we're going to be playing with this thumbnail in Canva, then it can be quite helpful to have different variations of it. So uh, let's see what we get. So this is zoomed out version. When, when you zoom out 1.5 or two times, then, then it, puts it puts it outside. So it creates more the surrounding. Look at this. You can see how it works here. And it's starting to generate more and more scenery around it. And, and that can be useful when we in Canva are going to be moving the image uh, to create the right composition between text and character. Then to have this uh, scenery uh, around the main character is quite useful. You know what? I do have a preference. I'll go with this one. I'll take this one and I'll download that one as well. And then we can jump into the next tool and let's see what we can do in Canva in order to create this thumbnail even, even better. Let's make it even better. And in Canva, it's it's also a free to use tool, of course, with some limitations when you use it for free. Uh, but still, you can make a lot of cool stuff with Canva, even with the free version. I do have a pro version and I'm going to show you how how I work with the thumbnails uh, when, when I do it for my personal projects. So I would go to create design and you can search for a YouTube thumbnail. There's already a specific resolution for that. So we can click that. And, uh, and the cool thing about doing it through this, you also get suggestions of different designs. And, and that is actually quite cool. Um, I'll add another page and I can drag in the image that we have. So look at this. So this is the original image we created. How do you like it? Huh? It could be a thumbnail by itself. <laughs> and, um, and here, and what I will go here for design, look at this. And then we can look through different designs. If you're looking for a specific kind of text uh, that could be interesting to add, that's that's how I like to, to approach it. Like find something that looks cool with the text um, because then it's easier to modify it as well. So because the text is already created in an interesting chunks here. So let me let me try, for instance, this one. Just to, I've, I think it's going to fit well with the, with the style that we have. So, and what I will take and look at this. And like this, we can stunning thumbnail. Stunning thumbnail. And you see, it's. And here, I, I'll see, see the struggle here with this resolution. Now, if you want to keep the thumbnail, it's going to be quite small on the screen when it's on YouTube. So you would like to, to be able to scale down. And here, if I start to move image, for instance, the character to the right side, then we have this wheel without anything. That doesn't look good, right? So that's where it comes in with the. Um, with another image that I created. Look at this. So we duplicate this one, I'll delete, and I'll insert the second image that we created, which has much more zoomed out opportunity to look, and we can still zoom in into the image, but now we can move the character, make it even bigger, but still move the character until we have the right, the right scale that we are looking for. And now look at this, we can create stunning thumbnail <laughs> now we have much more space, screen space, thumbnail space to create this, to work around this. Look at this stunning thumbnail. Just like this, we were able to create a, a thumbnail. And you can still adjust in the way you want. Uh, what I like to play sometimes around with, it's also um, make a copy. And let's say that this design will find another design that maybe even better suits to to what we are looking for. <laughs> let's let's take something like like this as well. 
best artificial intelligence website and And then we can also do best thumbnail, boom. And just the size of the window, center it, make it bigger. So, so that's what can, Canva allows us to, to make it much, much, much easier to adjust and create this a bit more context to the image, to put a few words on it that, that actually makes, makes it pop even further when, when it's on YouTube. So like this, look at this, isn't it? And, and you can do this in minutes, right? And then, and then we have a thumbnail. So this is, this is how it's possible to make thumbnails with Midjourney and Canva. It's a beautiful combination and easy to get into some workflows where you can create unlimited variation of very, very beautiful, stunning thumbnails. All right, play around with this. I'm curious to see what, uh, what you are able to create with this as well. So feel free to share it with me. Otherwise, enjoy, have fun, create out there. All right, I'll see you around. Cheers.